okay, so this is uh, me and Leanda in the first class. Um, and she walks nicely over these poles. Gosh, I like how she you know, kind of looks at him and she very deliberately picks her feet up, which was great. And then her trot transition you know, it was much better than Puma. She just kind of just flowed into it pretty nicely. I'm really happy with that. Um, so she kind of doesn't have as much expression as, as Puma can. And so Johnny, um, you know, said that I really need to make a big difference between her, her kind of regular trot and her extended trot. So I really tried to do that. Um, and so she, you could see she does have an extended, she's making longer, bigger steps, um, which is good. And she's on a loose rein and her expression is great with her ears forward and listening. Um, so that's really, really nice. And then here you're supposed to collect up a little bit before you pick up the lope. And she did a really nice job doing that. It was very soft. Um, she just picks up her, her lope perfectly. And same thing with her extended and her collected. I had to really show a difference because she's kind of not as expressive in her movement. And so I really try to push her forward here um, to show that difference. And I'm really happy with, with how she did here. And she had just started, she just really had kind of a talented, balanced horse. And um, I was just like, uh, like maybe like a few days before I had done my first like flying lead changes on her. And so I was like, I'm just going to go for it. And she did a lovely flying lead change right there. Um, it's not where she's super advanced at it. You can see I kind of had to turn her and, and, and throw her into it. Um, but she did it. Um, and it did, it did give us a lot of points for that. Um, that downward transition was not good. And you can see she's real wiggly here. Um, she was just like ready to turn, ready to turn. She was not like well, understanding she needed to go straight. Um, these, these corners are nice. And then here, this, I made a mistake. I actually said, whoa. So she listened to me and, and did a stop there instead of a walk. So those downward transitions was something that, um, land is pretty darn green. Um, and so I had, hadn't had her that long. I hadn't really been training her cause I'd been focusing on my Tennessee makeover horse. And I wasn't even planning on doing the show. And then here you could see, look at her hind end, how her gets her left stifle stuck there, her left hind leg. This backup is amazing. She really just, uh, she it probably a little bit overbent, but she's just super soft and really hustled her feet. And I like that. I was really proud of her. But that, I didn't realize that um, her stifle was bothering her until I watched this back. And I'm like, why aren't you wanting to turn left? I couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. So when we loaded her in New York to come to the show, um, she like was over, over exuberant and jumped into the trailer and hit her left stifle on the door going in. And I was in it, you know, caused it scraped her stifle and I was super stressed about it. And I was like, God, I hope it doesn't make her lame. And then after I saw that video and I couldn't figure out why she was not wanting to kind of spin left, um, Eros, our, our working student, is amazing. And she did a ton of red light therapy on it. And it, it really, really helped for our last class, even though we didn't have any spins in that. But she started moving better. Um, so this is what, uh, so we placed fourth. Fourth out of 58 in that ranch riding class. It was even with those little baubles. We were only one point off first. Um, she probably could have won it if we'd had smoother downward transitions. Um, so that's kind of exciting. So here you could see the same problem with the left stifle. She's like... Uh, she's trying really hard and, and, and kind of getting stuck and you could tell that's bothering her. Um, and so she does kind of take some trot steps and her lope off there. So that's not great. You don't want that in raining. Um, and so let's see. So yeah, she gets was fourth. She was half a point off a of second and third and one point off first place in that ranch riding. So we're pretty excited about that finish. And so we go into the raining and um, this is, I got a little bit disoriented here. And I did, it was called for three and a half spins and I did four and a half spins. You can see I kept going and I was like, oh, I thought I was good. I just got a little bit disoriented because I don't, I've never ridden a raining pattern. I've ridden rainers and her stops aren't bad. Like um, she didn't want to, with her stifle thing, she didn't really want to sit down at all. And I don't, I, know I don't blame her. Her backup was good. My pause should have probably been longer. This was great. She just looked right off. And then, and then her circles are really, really nice. But we actually... So because of that overspin, um, we c completely, we OP'd the class. We're off pattern. We got a zero. Um, so it really sucks because she would have been 13th in this class, which would have left us in ninth place going into the trail. And so I'm really happy with, like, she, she actually did, you know, a fast, you know, a slow, small circle and a fast, big circle. And then here I did a flying lead change, and she, she um, was a little late behind. Not bad, though. Really wasn't bad. Um, she did it. It was like maybe a stride. 
she did a nice flying change there and, and the speed here. And then, you know, she collects up really nice right here. I really like this. This is a true small, you know, collected. And you can see her. She kind of shortens her stride up and collects up. And so I'm really happy with that. Um, and then here, because we don't, we need some speed to get a decent flying lead change. She didn't get it going this way. Um, and so she, she did get it like right here. She fixes it. But those are point deductions right there. So, but still, like our points were enough that we would have been thirteenth, and then ninth going into trail. So, um, it's really disheartening. I didn't realize, and you can see she she will stop. She won't blow through any of my stops, and so she stopped pretty hard right there. Um, and some super bummed, really nice horse showing. She's all business. She is literally all business. She was perfect that whole weekend. Just got better and better. Um, and like she was dragging me to go show in that arena. She loved it. Um, so it really just kind of sucks that I, I didn't know that's how I Mustang shows historically have not been judged that way, where you get just get a zero for the entire class and you're basically you're, you're completely out of the running for top 10 at that point. Um, and so it, it was um, I, I hope they change it. But like now I know um, and um, I will definitely, you know, I'd rather be slow and get be on pattern than do anything like that might be off pattern. So she did that fine. Um, she was a little fussy in her head this day for me. Um, she picked up that really nice. She did those trot pulls really nice. She, and then here we have, we, we did extend. We're one of the few people that actually truly extended it where it said extended lope right here. Um, and then it's really hard to collect up right here and still make it over those and not lose your lope. But she loped through them and she walked into that. So we kind of did the same thing, almost a stop before she walked. Those downward transitions are something that um, we haven't really gone over yet because um, I want to say she maybe has had 50 rides at this point um, in this show. So I'm really happy with that. And like I said, in ranch riding, my understanding is that you should go and flow from one thing to the next. And that wasn't what was rewarded. Pauses in the box. Pa I mean, somebody literally stopped on the bridge and got rewarded for that. So... And here she, I, I would just, I didn't set her up for that. Her favorite lead is her right lead. I kind of took it for granted that she would do that. And she keeps split, splitting rails. She split that one, which means she, she loped over with it between her front legs. She can't do that. And same thing here. She was developing a bad habit of it. And like, we literally almost ran into the wall. Like it was, it was right there. And so um, she, she does a really nice transition right here. She's trotting right here. And you could see her almost looked a little gimpy around that that turn um, from that stinking stifle. Um, although it was getting much better by this day with the red light therapy and just some time. And I, you know, wasn't trying to turn her on it and stuff. And she walked over that nice, walked over the bridge nice. Um, and so I want to say we would have been like 20th or something in this class. Um, we would have made top 10. And, and that's just so heartbreaking to be so close. Um, but really proud of her for how green she was. And she just really stepped it up. And I can't wait to keep showing her. I love this horse. And she will be showing in Kentucky.